Shares are down 1%. I mean, lots of ticks in your results, but the shares are down. Can you fathom a guess why? I mean, sales, slightly missing estimates. Well, I think the, the important point uh, in the results is that the, the first half in terms of um, uh, underlying pre-tax profit mm. was, um, it was a very strong uh, uh, first half, and in particular, uh, the acquisition of uh, Parsons Brinkerhoff, which we made at the uh, back end of last year, that business has performed very strongly in the period. Uh, so I think the first half results are indeed a very strong set of Any numbers. comment on the sales aspect, though? They did come in slightly below. Well, the, 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 the overall uh, position of the, of the business is that the, the underlying earnings that are coming from our revenue uh, it has been very strong. The actual revenue numbers themselves really are a function of the mix of our business between one sector and another. Ian, everyone wants to talk about the spending review in the autumn. Just put it in perspective for us in, in very clear terms. How much, on a worst-case scenario, could it, could it affect Balfour BT? Well, I think it is very important that we get that in context. Our strategy has been to develop Balfour BT as a global and broadly based um, uh, infrastructure services business. Uh, it's worth pointing out that now uh, significantly more than 50% of our revenue comes from outside the UK. Right. Uh, and even within the UK, the UK government uh, piece of our business is relatively small. Can, can uh, you put a figure on it? I mean, what, what yeah, sort of percentage of your business is it? Somewhere around about 20 percent of our business okay. is for the is infrastructure driven by the uh, the UK uh, the UK government yeah. so it is a relatively small part of our total business and I think what's important to get in context there is if you look at the uh, the longer term spend on infrastructure over the next 5 10 15 years there is enormous growth that's going to take place in the UK in other developed economies and in developing economies around the world what we're, the issue that, that people are focusing on is one element of that business in the relatively so short term. So don't be too distracted, you're saying, Indeed. by the UK. By the UK and by that particular by that piece of the UK business, piece. absolutely right. The US is big, as you say. I mean, it represents 30-ish percent of your sales right now. You bought a Parsons Brinkerhoff last year. You want to tap spending on US transport and entering into the Australian market, China, India, South America as well. How big could the US come? Because we, we know that the US government is continuing to spend. How are you going to benefit from that? How are you benefiting well, from we that? Well, we certainly see the US uh, part of our business growing, both from the uh, the acquisition of Parsons Brinkerhoff last year, and that's particularly in the transportation and the wider infrastructure market in power, water, and, and that type of area. But also, our construction activities across the US also have the capacity to grow. So I think we will see the US becoming a larger part overall of our total business. But still, the UK and the US, that's where it's happening for you. China, emerging markets, when are they going to be part of this global infrastructure group? When are they going to be a, a bigger proportion of your profits and sales? Well, I think it's a very important question. One of the other strategic reasons why Parsons Brinkhoff was so important to us is that it gives us access to markets that we would not otherwise have had access to as a sort of downstream uh, player, uh, particularly areas like India, China, um, South, South Africa and indeed some of the South American markets where infrastructure development is going to be a huge issue in the next um, 10 or 15 years. We now have access to those markets but very much through the professional services uh, line of business. All in all, though, you're confident about the outlook. We, That's we are the very positive, confident about, isn't the, it? about the medium to outlook. We, we are absolutely in the right space as a, an infrastructure business. Ian, thanks a lot for joining us. Balfour BT Chief Executive then, Ian Tyler there.